check that better great can anybody hear me anybody watching this video can you hear me great hell god ratings portal masters welcome back to kiana skylander spyro's adventure replays in the last episode we managed to get the green goo of primordia from the goo factory and all that's left to get in this part is the eternal text source so we have to travel to the battlefield in order to obtain it so we're going to talk to general robot right now Giddy up! Let's go kick some stinky troll behind! Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Fire! Woohoo! That's the closest thing Sunburn will have to actually flying. He sadly can't fly. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I was just about to... Never mind. I'm not panicking. Well, kind of, but not really now that you're here. Come on, Snuckles. You can do this. Okay. The trolls have overrun our defenses and our command team has been cut off. We have to get to them, but we don't have much time. Chapter 14, The Battlefield. Whoa, I'm getting some serious World War II, World War I vibes right here. I mean, look at it. It's got sandbags, trenches, barbed wire. Yeah, it's got, it's got, it's, yeah, it's got, yeah, it's, everything looks like something you see in a World War I film. Like, like saving pro like something we say see in a World War One movie, like Saving Private Ryan. Wait, was it, was Saving Private Ryan a World War One movie or a World War Two movie? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if, if I'm if, I, if I'm right. Is is Saving Private Ryan a World War One or World War Two movie? Yeah, everything everything in the battlefield is pretty much like really reminiscent of World War II. Like, there's there's trenches, sandbags, barbed wire, barbed wire, and stuff like that. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I'll be Boomer. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll be Boomer. Boomer. Where's Boomer? Hmm. Boomer. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this is pretty appropriate since, since, yeah, I think Boomer would really like this stage because everyone uses explosives and, and Boomer's all about blowing stuff up since he is a power maniac. I really need to, I really need to upgrade Boomer's dynamite lobbing attack. Story scroll. What's it say? A note from a troll commander says strange and odd behavior attracts fire from enemy positions, which might result in injury. So please refrain from the following activities: barbed wire tug of war, minefield races, and hand grenade juggling contests. I think actually, I think Boomer would actually like that. I think actually, I think he would juggle dynamite instead of hand grenades. Yeah, he'd, he'd rather juggle dynamite than hand grenades. Or regular black bombs. Fire scanning, right? Hmm. I'm gonna be, uh... No, let's not smash. Hmm. Flame Slinger.
Actually, I'll give some of the sunburn, because he needs an upgrade. Roast and toast. Perfect. Oh, there's a cannon right there. You can use that cannon to blow up that, that, that turret. The tech element are stronger in this zone. Has anybody ever learned about about the, about World War One in school? Or if anybody if anybody still attends school, is anybody learning about World War One in their classes and stuff like that? When I was in twelfth grade, I, I mean, when I was a when I was a junior, I learned about World War One. We talked about we learned about uh, we learned about the trenches and and stuff like that. My favorite subject on that, on that, on World War One was how they used poisonous gases like mustard gas or, or, or chlorine gas and stuff like that. Yeah, sat, yeah, yeah, poison gas isn't used in the war anymore because it's pretty much unfair. Of the tech but in the T. Houston universe, Remus Beta pretty much says fuck it to the banning of, of gases, and he pretty much, he does, he does use nerve gas, chlorine gas, mustard gas, or anything like that. Sunburn, why do you have to be so shitty? That's it. You asked for it. There's Flame Slinger. Here he is. Game fire! Oh, it's another one. Another soul gem. Archean armor. Hold on a second. Oh! Oh! Dang it. Sorry. Sorry. My, I dropped my, my microphone. Sorry. Sorry about that. Testing. Okay. So this soul gem is for the second tech Skylander I got, that being Drill Sergeant. So let's preview him. Drill Sergeant. Sergeant when I, I used to love Drill Sergeant, but, but when I got older, I soon realized that he was actually pretty shitty, mostly because of his, his drill rockets take forever to reload. It's a good thing Plumsling was a fire Skylander. Slingers rock. He rocks. 
Also, according to the the teaser trailer for Skylanders Giants, apparently Flimslinger has a blindfold underneath his red blindfold. Yeah, when the Giants reveal themselves, he takes off his blindfold and he and he and he shows that he's wearing two blindfolds and he's like, no way. Dead Skylander for this for this gate. Undead Skylander. Hmm. Probably Chop Chop. Obviously. Wait, what is what does the undead have to do with a battlefield? Oh, it must be from the numerous deaths that happen. It must have been from the numerous deaths that the soldiers might have gotten in. The numerous deaths that the soldiers went through. Mega bomb down. Okay, press this button. Excuse me. Oh 
Oh, look, it's my battery level's almost out. My battery level is low. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Come on, hurry. My battery level's gonna... My battery's gonna die soon. Move that bomb into place. Hurry, 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 hurry. Woo! A soldier hat. Let's get the hell out of here. Flingslinger. We need Flingslinger. Burners. Where is he? Uh, okay. So this soul gem is for the most powerful Skylander in the in this franchise, that being Drobot. So let's preview him quickly. Drobot. console versions of this in the other console versions of Skyland Spires Adventure the, the that tank that tank is a little is much bigger than the in the Wii version which the, is the one I'm playing come on 
Go, go. Okay, I'll be Ghost Roaster. Sadly, Tech source is. Attack the fuel tank. Yeah! Behold, the eternal tech source. Fantastic. Okay. The eternal tech source, embodiment of all science and reason, balances magic within the core of light. Wow. It's working. The gears are turning. It's moving! Yes! The tech source is integrity. You know, Glumshanks, despite your colossal failures, exemplified by you mutton-headedly losing the eternal tech source, I am feeling particularly optimistic. And do you know why? No. Because the darkness is becoming even more powerful. It's spreading all over Skyland. Soon, no one will be able to stop it. Ah! Uh-huh. You know what they say. Red skies in the morning. Skylanders take warning. No one actually says that. <laughs> 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 I swallowed a bug! <laughs> Oh. I may be a great general. When it comes to the supernatural, I am O U double T out. This is my last hurrah. Actually, Come there's only the one T in and out. The general might have the right idea. On the other hand, the spirits of the undead don't cross over unless they are severely disturbed. Perhaps you should investigate. That noise is coming from the beach. I see. So... Investigate the beach. So, uh, I'm gonna stop right here, and in the, in the next episode, we're gonna, we're gonna investigate the beach. So, I think we might be able to get the, uh, ah. We're gonna probably get, obtain, try to find the, un, the eternal undead source. So, so thank you guys for watching this episode of my Skylander Spyro's Adventure replays. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, share on social media, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!